importing a Microsoft Excel file into SAS. I want to just start off with a really simple Microsoft Excel file, and I'm going to make it so simple that I can just do it uh, on the fly, you know? All right, so let's say we have, um, let's say we have uh, vaccinated, vaccinated, and we have placebo, and we have placebo, and let's say we have yes, no, and we have yes, and we have no, and let's call this the treatment group or just group. And let's call this um, hospitalized or HOSP for hospitalized. And um, let's call this uh, frequency, right? Actually, we shouldn't use freak because that's a that's a SAS procedure name that could be a reserve. It isn't a reserve. It would work, but I don't want to confuse everyone. Let's just call it number, right? Number of subjects. And let's just say, I don't know, let's just say 40, uh, 60. And there's no rule that says, you know, the margins have to be fixed. So let's just say, I don't know, let's say um, 30 and I don't know, 68, you know, no rule. And so here we have a nice little um, data set, right? Okay. So what I wanna do is I wanna save this as a Microsoft Excel workbook on my desktop so that I can import it into SAS. And I'm gonna call it this, um, just because, you know, I do that sometimes when I have files that I won't need after doing something. This is one of those files. So I'm going to look for this, and I found it on my other monitor. I'm going to click into it just to show you that it really is the file that we just did. We have group, hospitalized, number. So we have that. So I just made a really, really, really simple data um, data file in Microsoft Excel. That's that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into SAS Studio. And what I want to do is I want to create a new folder that I'm never going to use again. So uh, I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this folder um, never use again. <laughs> So I can delete it, you know, and I know what it is. So I'm saving this, right? And so here I have a little folder called never use again, right? All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. Let me say that again, right click. And then I'm going to click upload files. Okay. Then I'm going to, now see how it says never use again? It already knows. Then I'm going to go choose files and I'm going to go to my desktop. Now it already says desktop um, right there. So it, you know, but in your computer, it might, it might by default take you to a different folder. So make sure you click on whatever folder you actually want, want it in. So I have to look for that. Uh, what did I call it again? It should be here. So Z, it's right here, okay. So now I'm going to hit open and I'm gonna hit upload. Now the next step is a little bit tricky. So you might wanna slow me down to half speed on YouTube or whatever, but I'm going to double click into never use again and Here's this nice little Excel file that I just uploaded. So all I'm going to do, it's gonna be like magic. I'm gonna drag and drop it into this code window. So watch what happens. Bam, isn't this beautiful? So it's already imported it. 
Now, here's a little problem, which I don't understand why SAS does it. If you click on this and hit return, nothing will happen. You can't type into this, this um, SAS uh, file. I don't know why SAS does that. It's a little bit annoying, but there's a workaround. All you do is you copy this. Well, you first you, you highlight it, and then you hit Control-C to copy it, right? Control-C. And now I'm going to hit F4 to open up a new um, coding window. You could also click on this little arrow over here and click New. That's another way to get to this little code window. But now I'm going to hit Control-V to paste it in. But here's why I did that. Now I hit Return and I actually have a window that I can type SAS code into. I don't know why you have to do it this way. It seems a little silly, but the workaround is simple and SAS is so powerful that it's so totally worth it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit P-R-O-C and it does it for you. And then print, P-R-I. Oh, and it does it for you. Even if I didn't know how to spell print, it's right there. And then I'm gonna hit run. And what I wanna do is I just wanna make sure that I imported this data set from Microsoft Excel correctly. So I'm gonna hit run. This is the result of the contents procedure. So this just gives you a lot of technicalities about like, you know, what the variables were and all this. And um, what I should have done was I really should have checked the log first to see if there were any errors. But this thing was so simple. I didn't bother checking the log and there aren't any errors because it was just such a simple thing. But notice what we have here. We have Vax yes. We have vaccine, yes. Vaccine, no. We have placebo, yes. Placebo, no. The data was entered just like I entered it. And now we have successfully imported Microsoft Excel data into the SAS operating uh, platform, the new web-based SAS operating platform. I think it's, it's called SAS Studio or SAS for Academics. I don't know if they're synonymous but SAS is the best. So I hope this was really helpful. And if it was helpful, I don't get too many likes or subscribes or comments. So if you would be so kind as to, as they say, it sounds a little cliche, but smash that like button and shoot me a comment because not many people are. Thank you.